This is the new Porsche 718 Cayman GT4, and this is the new 718 Spyder. They are arguably the most eagerly anticipated and fiercely speculated about Porsche GT cars for some time. If you want to know all the technical details, then do have a gander at our walk-around video with Andreas Preininger that we filmed at Goodwood. But over the next two videos, we're going to see what they're like to drive, starting with the GT4 on track at Knock Hill in Scotland. A little bit about the circuit first. It's funny, it feels a bit like coming home because many, many moons ago, this is where I actually did my race license. I used to go to university about an hour over that way. Little did I know that one day I'll be back here in this. The circuit is 1.3 miles long, but there's 200 feet of elevation change in that. It's a fantastic little circuit, really technical. And actually, it tells you quite a lot about this car. Sometimes you come to circuits and you get out thinking, well, I don't really have learned very much. But this, you can learn a little bit actually. So a quick recap about the car then. 414 brake horsepower from this naturally aspirated four liter flat six. This all new engine that they've developed. This specific car, it's got PCCB carbon ceramic brakes on it. It's got the club sport package as well. So we've got the half cage behind us. We've got the fixed bucket seats. We haven't actually got the full harness on it because it's just timing ready for the launch. 0 to 60 miles an hour, 4.2 seconds. And they released the Nordsch Life lap time for this, which is seven minutes and 28 seconds, which as I'm sure you all know, is exactly four seconds faster than a Carrera GT, which is pretty extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, I know a Carrera GT on modern rubber would probably go quicker still, but nonetheless, this is also 12 seconds faster than the old GT4, and only three of that is down to the extra power that we have in here. So what can we learn about this car on this circuit? Well, I think the first thing to say is that, as you'd expect from a Cayman mid-engined, it has got absolutely fabulous balance. And it's a really, really confidence-inspiring car. This is a circuit that's all about confidence. Things like this corner here, the first one, Duffers, where it's all about confidence because you've got a blind crest, blind entry, and then up through the chicane here, you want to have confidence in the car to be able to pitch it over the curbs. And then that brings me on to the second thing, which is the ride quality of this car. So we're in the sport setting on the pass of dampers down here. It seems appropriate really. It's not as bumpy as I'm sure it once used to be for Knock Hill, but coming down here into the hairpin, brake hard, fourth gear, and it is really bumpy, you can feel it, but the car doesn't get unsettled. And likewise, up over these big curbs, where you can feel you've got inside wheels all up in the air, but the way it regains the grip, even there, over the start finish line, you can always see the traction control triggering a little bit of this section. Got a manual box obviously in here. Hooray! I've actually got the auto blip function turned on just to show quite how good it is. And you might think, wow, well, auto blip is just cheating, isn't it? It makes it exactly like an automatic gearbox. And yes, it's cheating a little bit. But you still have to think it's not just like an auto box because you think, wow, well, you know, do I grab that gear? Do I just rely on the torque perhaps and stay a gear higher? One of the big things people always wonder about is, well, what's the gearing like in this? Is it too long? And you do feel it, I have to say, out of the hairpin here, this is second gear, and it just, just doesn't quite sort of get onto its cam, as it were, quickly enough out of there. Having said that, this was the only part of the circuit where I really noticed it. I suspect there will be more to say about it on the road. And how does the new DT4 sound? 
well, you can hear for yourself. There isn't perhaps a really spine-tingling top end like a GT3, but it sounds a hell of a lot better than most new engines today. And even though I'm sure there will be more to come from it, boy does it feel strong. It also brings with it that lovely precision and response that you get from the throttle of a naturally aspirated engine. Again, adding to the confidence you have in the car. We've had to leave traction control and ESC on around this track because, well, that's what we've been told to do, so we can boys, we've done it. But it is very good as a system. It doesn't feel like it really hampers you. Of course, we are going to learn a lot more about this car when we drive it on the road with the roof off. sunny in Scotland. People say that doesn't happen. I promise you it does. Here's the evidence. I'm tired of the place up a bit since I was last here. Used to be a barn. You sit on the hay bales out there. 